hello everyone today i am going to create a tutorial on how you can have your own customized template file for a rabbit family for example there is a family component which you have to create very often and you find it frustrating to start from zero by placing the reference planes and assigning the parameters in this video i have created a template file for the drawers and doors of the kitchen cabinets and and also this video is the continuation of the previous part the link of which is given in the description box to have timely updates and for my motivation don't forget to like share and subscribe and leave your opinions and feedback in the comments so now let's start open an existing template file to start with i am going to open the generic model template file this already has two uh, reference planes in the ground in the floor plan and one re and one reference plane in the elevation so i need to add some more reference planes for the uh, for my kitchen cabinets so add some reference planes and place the dimensions as shown in this video Assign parameters to these two dimensions as width and height and make sure to make them as instance parameter. And you can see from this dialog box that when you change the dimensions, the reference planes move along with it. This is what, the, what is the benefit of assigning the parameters. Now add some more reference planes as shown in this video. Also assign dimensions among these reference planes. Assign the parameter of granite top to this dimension or the granite thickness, whatever you want. I'm going to change its value to half inches. After that, select this parameter and these two and this one and create a new parameter with the name sheet thickness. This parameter will determine the thickness of the sheets which are going to be, going to be used in creating the kitchen cabinets. Now place some more uh, reference planes as this make them equal these reference planes will help us in creating the drawers as we need them in the kitchen for now i don't need to assign names to these reference planes but if you want you can assign names to all of these reference planes or or some of them as you want now go to the reference level floor plan and assign some reference planes here as well. Assign this dimension the parameter of sheet thickness. Assign a new parameter to this uh, dimension as the movement of the drawer. This reference plane will help us in moving, the, uh, in opening and closing of the drawers 
which we are going to design in the next uh, part which will be which would be the continuation of this uh, series of the tutorials which i am creating now place a new reference plane as this now create a new parameter for this dimension which would be the total depth create a new parameter with the name internal depth assign a formula to this parameter which is the total depth minus sheet thickness Now place one more reference plane here. So place a dimension and assign the parameter of sheet thickness to it. Actually delete this dimension and assign the parameter of internal depth between these two reference planes. Now when you change the dimension of this movement of draw parameter, the reference planes move along with it. So it will help us in creating the draws in the, which I would be creating in the next tutorial. As you can see all of these reference planes appear green in color and they are all similar. So if you want to differentiate the reference planes according to the design for that select i'm going to select these four reference planes then click on create new subcategory from here and assign a name to it i'm going to name it internal sides of the cabinets you can change the color of the of this category from here click ok and now you can see all of the selected reference planes have become red in color. You can also change the line pattern of these uh, reference lines from here. You can make it dashed or whatever you want. In the floor plan, I'm going to select these four reference planes and move them under the category which I have just created. If you have seen the previous part of this tutorial, you would notice that I have created these uh, reference, uh, placed these reference planes and parameters. Uh, according to the same way which I have created in this kitchen cabinet uh, family. This is because I have to place the drawers and doors which I am going to create in this template file on this uh, family of the kitchen cabinets. So that's all for today. In the next part, I will continue from here and leave your 
opinion and feedback in the comments below and most importantly don't forget to like share and subscribe